Hello, Tim from Husband Studios here. Today I will be showing you how I paint a direwolf from the Vampire Counts uh, army in the Warhammer Fantasy range. So, this is the uh, finished project. Um, I want mine to be a little uh, uh, pestilent, I, I don't know. Disease or something like green. He have green skin and very dark red flesh, and also a very yellowish sickly mane. <laughs> so I will show you how I painted this. Um, so I will be using this model. This is a uh, normal direwolf, uh, primed with chaos black spray paint. Um, so, the first thing I will do is cover the entire model with a little watered down camel green. Camel green is a color from the old Warhammer uh, Games Workshop range. They are currently switching to a new one. So, you have to find the equivalent to the camel green if you do not have this. So, I will be covering the entire model with this color and uh, I will be back when that is done. So. Now I have covered the entire model with uh, the camel green paint and uh, yes, the next thing I will do is wash the entire model with Devil and Mud. Uh, that is a old wash Devil and Mud, this one. So if you have this, use it or the equivalent of the new range. So I will be back after I've done that. So. Now that the wash is dry, I will paint all the muscle parts, um, which will be here and here, all these like muscle parts, also some on the face and uh, on the legs here. I will paint these in Mesh Night Red, which is a silver foundation color. I think the equivalent is... The new one is Mephisto Red, I'm not sure, but you should use the equivalent to Mesh Knight. So I will be back when that is done. Now when that is dry, we will paint the nip stone in all the bone parts and the teeth and also some of the claws. So we will paint this area here, this bo uh, the bone parts, also some on the main. And the claws and stuff, and uh, yeah, some of all also like this thing. So I will do that, and uh, I will be back when that is done. Okay, now that all the stone parts uh, are are painted up, uh, I will highlight the skin, or not no, uh, not the skin, the musculature, all these red areas here. All the red areas I will highlight with blood. Which is also a uh, old range cell citadel color. Uh, I think the new one is called uh, Orc Scarlet or something like that. But here is the color. So I will use this and highlight all the musculature. So I'll do that and be right back. Now that the red parts are all highlighted up to blood red, um, I will dry brush all these, this mane here, all hair, all hair on the wolf. I will dry brush and also on the tail. I will dry brush this, these with. Uh, let me find the color here. Uh, a color called elf flesh. A lot of people. Uh, tend to use like very very dark colors but I just want to dry brush very lightly so that it will stick out so I'll use Elva which is a highly unused color on my part so I got more than half the bottle even though it's over three years old so I'll do this and uh, I'll be right back so, now that the dry brush is done, I will wash 
um, all the things I just painted, the mane and also the bones in uh, Badab Black, which is a uh, citadel wash. So, and I prefer to use washes instead of the new shades because the shades do not blend in the colors, you just go into the shadows. The washes goes into the shadows and then makes a blend which unifies the colors. So I will paint this on the bones and all and on main and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, now that that is done, uh, let's see. We will highlight the skin with camo green. So we highlight it with the base coat we had. So yes, um, this is a uh, simple layer, but try to avoid any bone or f uh, musculature because otherwise you have to redo those areas. So yes, I'll be right back when I've painted the camo green on all the skin areas. <laughs> now that that is done, you can see that Mal is almost coming to a finish here. So one of the last steps we will do is wash all the musculature. And uh, this is kind of a mix wash. I would prefer to wash it with Leviathan purple wash, but I don't have that currently, so I will be mixing instead. I will be using for my wash um, Mac Right Red and Devil and Mud. So I thin this down until it becomes almost like a wash, and I mix these 50 50 and I'll wash all the musculature on here. That means all the red parts. So, I will do that and uh, be right back. So, the last step is a step that will make your model go from pretty cool to ooh and ass, and that is <laughs> edge highlighting. highlighting. Um, I will uh, highlight the skin, the bones, and uh, I will re dry brush up the mane and tail because I overwashed them a little. So, I will highlight with Elf Flesh, which is the color I used to paint the mane in. And uh, I, pick, I picked this color because I, uh, I wanted, wanted to unify the mall. So, if I would pick like Denim Stone, it would look, it would look a little odd. Because then it would look almost bony skin, and that's not what I want. So well, flesh is good. So, and uh, I will re dry brush also without flesh and mane, and I will highlight the bone and teeth with tender stone. So this is the last step. I will not do the base because I don't have any basic materials and such. But this is just a tutorial on the wood itself. So I will uh, be back when I have. Edge highlighted skin, the bones, and re-dry brushed up the main. So, I'll be back when that is done. And so, here is the finished product. It is, um, the edge highlighting, highlighting is really bringing out all the small details and it's really making the small pop. So, imagine if you knew, you knew of 20 or 30 or even 40 of these coming at you. <laughs> uh, I would be really afraid. So, comparing this to a paint a couple of days ago, they are very very similar. So yes. I hope you do, uh, like this tutorial. Um, so please comment on what you would like me to do a tutorial next. And uh, please like this video. And uh, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. So, yes. Uh, I guess I'll be seeing you in the next video. Have a nice day.